Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from The Raymond Report with your NBA previews and predictions for a Tuesday, January 26th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget, if you do enjoy these videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner. All right guys, only three games on the deck today for the NBA. And uh, before we get to that, let's take a look at our premium picks yesterday, how they did. Not a bad day yesterday with our premium selections, which you can get here each and every day at ATSTats.com. We went 3-1, had a free pick on the Cleveland Cavaliers, plus 10. Uh, that was a nice winner. They won by se or they lost by 7, so they covered. And then we went 2-1 in our premium sections. We had Indiana and Golden State and lost with the Chicago Bulls. And guys, you can get a uh, premium uh, package here today at uh, ATSStats.com. Just go to our website, go to Picks, Ron Raymond's Picks, and you can get all my selections each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. All right, so with the um, three games on deck, let's take a look, you know, use this uh, opportunity as a workshop today for the NBA. Uh, we got Clippers, Atlanta, Washington, Houston, and then New York at Utah. Looking at the seven-day average, you can tell that the NBA favorites are uh, really on pace now. It, you know, the the um, the, the A-type teams in the rain report, teams that are 60% and higher, flexing their muscle. In the last seven days, NBA favorites are winning 72.4% of their games. Underdogs, 27.6%. And look at the overs. Uh, man, look at this. We are on an eight-day run for overs, and um, it's it's amazing. 76.9% of the overs have cashed in the last eight days, and we are in a bull market right now. Now, the reason why I track this, um, and you know, I talk about just like the stock market, you know, bullish and bearish situations, it's because of your risk factor. You know, and if you watch my videos, you know what goes up must come down. This cannot continue forever. The bookmakers are going to have to adjust. And to me, it's all about risk management, right? If you know everything is eventually going over, what do you think is going to happen? Everything's got to turn around and a reversal is going to happen. And you're going to see start. Look at this, right? Look at all the unders that came in here, all the green. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's just amazing how the law of average does work. And look at the ATS uh, favorites here uh, against the point spread. The last seven days, 61.4 uh, of the favorites have covered and 38.6% of the underdogs and uh, you can see right now we're on a pretty good run for overs and favorites in the NBA. All right, let's take a look at the uh, ATS standings and see exactly what has come in um, on favorites and overs and unders. And uh, you can see right here, home teams and road teams. This is what I like. I like when it's all yellow because to me, from a psychological point of view in the market space, it tells me that the bookmaker is doing a good job balancing the line, getting action on both sides. So there's no real bull or bearish markets which are very dangerous because you just don't know when they're going to flip, right? Uh, but I do have an edge down here on totals. Look at this. Um, when home teams or road teams, when the total is 232 to 239, the under um, is uh, 615 and 0. So when you do the math, that's 78%. Uh, 78% uh, to the, um, the unders are coming in when the total is 232 to 239. So something to keep an eye out here. Um, just like to look at the uh, the ranges. I know six and a half to nine point uh, road dogs uh, were doing very well, but I don't know how they're doing right now. Uh, let me see here, 22 and 19. So it's come back down to earth, uh, just like I had predicted. Uh, is you know, it's just nothing goes on forever, right? All right, let's take a look at the 80% club stats to see if there's any uh, stats and trends that are really uh, pointing out before we break down each of the games. Uh, the Clippers. So the Clippers got a lot of guys out. Kawhi's out. Um, George is out, uh, Beverly's out. Uh, so you know what? The, that's why you're seeing the line at minus five for Atlanta right now. And when the Clippers on, on the road in Atlanta, the last 15 games, 12 and three to the over in their last 15 trips to the ATL. Um, take a look at some of the straight up factors here. A lot of straight up factors going towards uh, Houston, Utah. Utah's on a really good run. In fact, let me bring up this here. This here is the uh, ATS database and what we do is we track, uh, I want to see exactly which team is doing well against the point spread and the, uh, the over-under. It's always good to do a refresher, right? Remember I talked about it yesterday? Uh, teams like uh, Utah, Clippers were doing well against spread. Chicago, unfortunately, not last night. But uh, let's take a look at this. Boston, uh, Brooklyn, 11-8 on the season, but 8-11 eight and, uh, eight and uh, 11 against the point spread. But look at this, 13-6 and six to the over. And I think, was that another over last night? No, the final game went under. So finally, a Brooklyn Nets game went under the total. Was that last night? No, hang on here. Um, yeah, last night. So it finally went under. Man, did it ever go under, eh? 98 to 85. So that one went way under the total. New York Knicks, 9-9 um, against the point spread. Philly, 8-10. and 10. 
Um, Toronto, 6-11. and 11. Toronto's really struggling right now. Chicago, 11-6 and 6 against the point spread, so 7-10. and 10. This is always interesting, right? Um, you know, normally teams that are, that are really well, uh, do well against the point spread, um, you know, surprisingly enough, Chicago has a losing record, but uh, low confidence uh, play normally from the public, and that's what I look for. That's why I call my under-the-radar type uh, scenarios. You know, Memphis, Charlotte, Chicago, those are teams that when the... Um, Losing records, but uh, do well against the point spread. Not all the time, but they do. Uh, Cleveland eight and nine. Cleveland's been on a good roll of late. Detroit four and thirteen straight up. Nine seven and one against the point spread. Uh, Indiana nice win last night by the Pacers. You know back to back. That was one of our top plays here in the uh, premium picks. Um, you know a lot of average right there, right? They lost to the Sunday in uh, Toronto, and then they came back and win last night. Milwaukee ten and six, but seven and nine. So these are the teams you got to be careful about. They have a high confidence um, public uh, approval, but uh, they don't do well against the point spread. Look, look at this to the total, 11-5. and five. So who's the other one that had a nice, uh, I think, Brooklyn? So teams that can score. Uh, and we're in an overs market, right? I showed you guys at the beginning like, the, the overs this year. In fact, yeah, I look at baseball. I look at uh, you know football, hockey, baseball. Everything's going No one plays defense anymore. So overs are really um, something you got to look at. Washington five and seven against the point spread three and nine, Denver nine and eight, and uh, they uh, they won again last night one seventeen to one thirteen. So keep an eye on that. Look at this another over right twelve and five teams like Denver, Milwaukee, Brooklyn with a lot of firepower, and they got the marquee guys right. You you got uh, the Joker, you know you got Kevin Durant, you got Harden, um, you know Giannis. Those are high profile athletes and scoring uh, powerhouses, and they're no surprise that the the games are going over. Uh, Minnesota. Uh, Portland nine, uh, six and ten uh, to the point spread. Let me see here. Oklahoma eight and eight. So they were a good uh, covering machine. Look at this. Atlanta, uh, Utah, twelve and four straight up. Eleven and five against the point spread. Man, it's uh, it's surprising, right? But that Utah. When you think of Utah, you, you know what do you think about, right? Do you, do you think of the, that the powerhouse team, or it's just they're tucked away up there in the, uh, in the uh, in, was it the, the not Midwest, but uh, oh, in the in the Western um, uh, time zone. But uh, you know they don't get a lot of uh, limelight like the Lakers, Clippers. Um, so Utah, some to some to keep an eye out, right? Um, Golden State nine and eight, eight and nine against the point spread. Surprisingly though, balance uh, over under nine and eight, and the Clippers thirteen and four straight up, eleven and six against the point spread, ten and seven to the over. So not as uh, not like Brooklyn and. Uh, Milwaukee, but uh, still, but you know, the Clippers play defense. They got Kawhi there, you know, the claw. Uh, 14 and 4 to Lakers, 11 and 7, only 8 and 10 against the point spread, surprisingly enough. But again, you know, they play defense. AD plays some really good D. Um, 8 and 7 for Phoenix. Sacramento, 6 and 10 straight up and against the point spread, 10 and 6 to the over. Dallas, now here's an interesting um, scenario, but Dallas is a Jekyll and Hyde team. You, you never know what Maverick team is going to show up, right? 8-9 on the season, 9-8 and eight against the point spread, 8-9 and nine to the over. Houston, now that Harding's gone, it's not as uh, interesting uh, from a point spread point of view when you're looking at totals. But they're still, uh, you know, still getting their, their wins. 133-108 win last game against Dallas. Memphis, 8-5 and five against the point spread, but they were doing really well against the point spread here. Um, in fact, let's, which one's the column for point spread? I just want to make sure. Uh, this one here. All right, where's Memphis again? Uh, Memphis, check this out. Where are you, Memphis? Here you go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So six out of the five, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the last seven have covered the spread, and this is why the one of my radar uh, team, right? Memphis, Charlotte, New Orleans. Look at this. You know, you, you can't uh, you can't give them the car, the keys to the car, right? Uh, four and twelve against the point spread in San Antonio, ten and eight. So. Always good to do a little re, uh, refresh, recap to see exactly what um, you know the NBA. So this way you have an idea of the marketplace and uh, things. It's always good to refresh and you know it's like I said the other day, right? Checking the standings. All right, let's get to today's first game on deck here. We got the Atlanta Hawks taking on the LA Clippers. Now Atlanta, a five-point favorite. The over/under set at two twenty-one and a half. ATS forecast. Computer pick now has it at one fifteen to one hundred nine. The over/under at two twenty-five point five. Now. I did a video earlier. I don't know what the forecast was when I did the video. If it's changed because it was minus three, and anytime the um, the line changes or the total change, 
we go in the database and we go get the latest figures to reflect the current situation of the line and total. So if you're ever wondering why the total is different, some like if you checked in the morning and the afternoon, the uh, forecast is different. It's because we want to give you the most accurate forecast using the current situation of the current line, minus 5, 221 and a half. And this morning, this was minus uh, 3. So that's why if there is any uh, change, that's the reason why. Uh, Atlanta 4 and 6 in their last 10 straight up and against the point spread 2 and 8 uh, to the under where the Clippers 8 and 2 uh, straight up 6 and 4 and 6 and 4 to the over uh, the Clippers coming off a um, a win in their last game against the Thunder 108 to 100 where Atlanta lost to the uh, Bucks 129 to 115 there was no Trey Young in that game I don't think and that's uh, that was upsetting because I had Atlanta and they pulled the you know the old uh, quick one there when they I hate it when they uh they pull the your you know your star athletes out of a game that you're um, you're picking and then you know you're stuck with that ticket unless you buy back the other side right um, all right so looking at the forecast here we have minus 7.5 for the Clippers um, the value here we have uh, you know plus five but again you, you take the big three out there uh, George Beverly and Leonard this is not the same lineup for sure and for uh, the Atlanta Hawks um, what's the value here minus 2.48 and you're laying five so overvalued here. Uh, we missed our opportunity this morning. Uh, but if you do like the under, anytime uh, the Clippers on the road against a B-type team, the under is 3-0. and well, Let's take a look at the latest line. We'll see what's uh, uh, what the latest is here on the total. 220, 221. It went to 222. Now it's at 221.5. So um, pretty balanced right there. Uh, the last 10 trips to Atlanta, the Clippers are 4-6 and six straight up, 5-5 five and five against the number, but 8-2 and two to the over. So if you do like this game here tonight, guys, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't like the fact that the you know you take the the the, the core of the, uh, the you know the starters out, so it's um, it's a flipper quarter for me. But uh, if you're gonna play this one, I'd put uh, either beer money or pizza money on it, and maybe um, uh, maybe the total, maybe over the total. Coco was at 54, and the line here. What's the line again? Totals are going up in 220, so it is going up a bit. So maybe the over would be worth a consideration. I don't. I don't think I'm going to touch it, though. All right, let's take a look at the next game here. Washington against Houston. Now, Washington, they were off for a while, and they came back, and then they lost 121-120, uh, uh, against the Spurs in their last game. Now, looking at the forecast, uh, minus 3.5 is the uh, line here on the Rockets. 232 is the over-under. 117 to 112, the over-under at 230, so it does like it to go under the total. But keep in mind, we are in a overs market right now. 61.4% of the games have gone over the total. Favorites are cashing in at a nice uh, pace right now. In fact, favorites are covering at, uh, let me see, no, the over is at 76.9. The, the uh, favorites are cashing in at 61.4%. So we are in an over uh, favorite market and an overs market. But um, looking at the lineup for Westbrook, Beal, Robinson, Bonga, Lopez, and then you got Wall, Gordon, uh, you know, John Wall facing his old teammates, right? Jayshon Tate, Tucker, and Cousins. So um, interesting matchup here with uh, Wall facing his old team. All right, uh, value-wise, let's take a look at the value. Um, 0 0.64 for Houston. You're laying three and a half, so um, you're over, uh, they're overvalued. And if you do like Washington, plus 2.42, and you're getting three and a half, so you're getting value on the Wizards. 63% um, chance of covering for Washington on the um, percentage play, chance of covering. But 78.6% chance of winning uh, for the Houston Rockets and the Kogo. Chance of this game going over the total is at 39%. Take a look at the take a look. Man, I'll get that out there. Take a look at the latest line moves. Man, that's like a tongue twister right there. 232.5 was the total it opened up at. And it's at 231. So it is uh, looking under the total. And looking at the line, minus 2.5. It's gone up to 3, now 3.5. So uh, Washington, uh, actually Houston getting some love here. Um... It's just that, you know, Washington hasn't played a lot. They played one game. They were rusty in that game against the Spurs. Now they're coming back, and they're facing uh, Houston teams where they haven't done well. In fact, they are 2-8 um, in the last 10, 4-18 since 96 in Houston. So not a lot of luck. Actually, Washington has, <laughs> hasn't had a lot of luck against anybody uh, lately um, in their franchise, right? Um, you know what? Looking at the home record for the Houston uh, Rockets, Three and four straight up, two and five against the number, one five and one. 
And for the uh, Washington Wizards, they're four and two, so they do have a nice point spread record on the road, better than their home one. Uh, maybe Washington um, want to maybe stick it to his old teammate and prove them wrong, right? Say, hey, you left us. Maybe we uh, we go out and get that W on you tonight. So maybe uh, the a little bit of a, a pride factor here for the Wizards to uh, get that W against their old teammate. Maybe that's uh, an angle you want to consider tonight between the Rockets and the Wizards. All right. Let's take a look at the New York Knicks and the uh, Utah Jazz. Now, we just talked about Utah, right? Uh, they are a covering machine of late. In fact, uh, where was that? Utah. Well, I think it was 11-5 and five or something like that. 12-5. and five. Uh, Utah, Utah, Utah. Here you are. 11-5 and five against the point spread overall this season. 12-4. and four. Uh, Actually, I could have got that right here. Uh, right here, yeah. 12-4, and 11-5 against the point spread. Man, they're having a good... Uh, a good run right now. In fact, they're on an eight-game win streak, and you know my golden rules of streaks, right? You're either with them or you don't touch them. Um, so looking at the forecast, oh, wow, look at the line here. 11 and a half. That is, uh, that's a lot of points. 11 and a half point home favorite. The overrunner at 211. ATS forecast calling for a 112.99 victory tonight. I, I'm not laying 11 and a half points. I'll tell you that right now. And the overrunner at 211. So right on the button with the, uh, the, the bookmakers total. Eight and two in their last 10. Eight and two against the spread, and uh, they've eight eight uh, game covering streak. This is always amazing when they win straight eight win, but they cover eight win. So you know it's not like the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Winning but not covering. Um, so they're they're dominating right now. So every team goes through that peak during the season where just everything is all, is um, is falling right in, in place. Everything they're hitting on all cylinders right now. And Utah is a very dangerous team right now. But uh, the New York Knicks coming off two straight up losses. Five and six on the road, six and five against the point spread, four and seven to the under. And looking at their uh, history in uh, Utah, the last ten, three and seven, but seven and three against the point spread, eight and two to the over. Um, you know what? The over. What's the over of the Kogu at? The Kogu is at thirty nine percent, so it likes it to go under. Uh, take a look at the latest line moves. Uh, the line move went from two twelve to fourteen, and now it's down to two eleven. So, um, but here's uh, one thing here. Look at this. Anytime the New York Knicks face a um, an opponent that has a 60% or higher win percentage on the road, 4-0 straight up and against the point spread, 4-0 to the under. Wow. So if you don't want to mess with that golden rule of the streak, maybe the under. Look at this. They play very defensive. Uh, but that's a really impressive record for New York to face those type of teams and beat them. Wow. Um, really. That's, uh, I'll have to look at this here. That's... Um, hmm. Interesting number. Let me take a look at the uh, even the Lakers and Clippers. Let me see here. Home team. Uh, I haven't played the Lakers yet at home. Okay. Uh, if they played them, they played them at uh, New York, but no. So let me see. At home team, Portland, Sacramento, New York, Boston, Cleveland. Okay. Hey, you know what? Might be worth a look here on the New York Knicks plus the points here. They've done v very well against team with an above um, 500 record or 60% or higher record. As you can see right here, 4 0 straight up and against the number. And uh, looking at some of these games, 113 to 116 against Portland. Portland was not a 60% team. The Kings, the Warriors. Um, yeah, so you know what? No, Celtics, look at that. That was, uh, that was a Sunday uh, ass whooping right there because I'm, I know that one because I had the Celtics that day and I know it was a Sunday. All right, there you have it, guys. That's the uh, Rain Report NBA edition today for a Tuesday, Ruby Tuesday. It is January 26th. Don't forget, you can get my top plays, my best bets, each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. And if you want a copy of my book, Ron Raymond's Sports Betting Secrets, a book I wrote in 2009, just uh, shoot me an email. Just hit the contact us, leave your detail, ask for the book, and I will send you a complimentary copy of my book, Ron Raymond's Top 50 Sports Betting Secrets, and 30 uh, additional bonus tips. And, uh, yeah, so there you have it, guys. That's my... Um, my NBA podcast today, 4-8, Tuesday, January 26th. Have yourself a great rest of your day. As always, shop for value, play those percentages. We'll see you back shortly with another Rain Report.